The simple form of the binomial theorem had been known for some time. This enables you to calculate quantities like a plus x, all in brackets, to the power n. This is very easy to do if n is a simple whole number like 1, 2 or 3, 4, so on, an integer. You simply multiply out the brackets. It's much more difficult if n is a fraction, for instance a half or a third or a quarter, or if n is a negative number because then you start to have reciprocals coming in and again it's very difficult and the answer in those cases is not a simple multiplication it's an infinite series and calculating what this infinite series should be is quite a sophisticated process it's a very sophisticated process and this was one of Newton's really great discoveries and he's never given as much credit for this as he is for the calculus, but it's actually just as important because this whole theory of infinite series opens up a whole new branch of mathematics, really. So it's, it's key. It's vital. Let me give an example of why the binomial theorem is so important and this whole theory of infinite series. If you think of the sine of an angle, sine x. When you first learn about this at school you learn about the angle being in a right angle triangle and you calculate the sine by calculating the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. This is something that most people learn when they're quite young. It's a very simple concept of a sine. What Newton did was transform that concept because he was able through his theory of infinite series to write down a series for sine x and the series begins sine x equals x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial and so on and so forth. It continues in a very regular way. It's a beautiful series. This is quite, quite different from thinking of a sine as opposite over hypotenuse. Conceptually, it's completely different. And it's taking the sine away from being a simple geometric concept to being something that modern mathematicians would call a function, a function at the x. It means for any value of x, you can calculate the sine. You don't have to restrict it between 0 and 90 degrees any longer. This holds for any value of x. So it's a huge conceptual leap. And this is the kind of thing that was made possible through this theory of infinite series, that suddenly the whole of mathematics is transformed from being quite sort of local and geometric into being something much more general and algebraic, much more powerful.